Uh, I don't know who's going to show. It's middle of the day on Saturday. And I can't find my tripod, so I rigged up my phone another way. For some reason, it's missing. Don't know why. I think it's gone. But I may as well tune my guitar while people are getting on. I can't see. I put it in reverse, so I can't even see if people are on. So my guitar doesn't look backwards when I play. I'm not going to pretend that I'm Paul McCartney playing a lefty guitar. No, not me. My tuner doesn't work. The battery died. So here we go. I got my tools. Get my backup tuner. I figure I'll start with songs from, because I'm so stoked from the rally that was so successful this weekend, this week. In sub-freezing weather, the only thing I wish that there were more people outside to hear us, but everywhere we went, there were people asking what we were doing, stopping us, taking pictures, talking to us. Nobody um, in disagreement with what we were doing which was really refreshing and actually we don't usually come across that anyway. Most people agree, but most people don't want to say anything or don't know enough about it, what's happening um, with the family courts, the fascist family courts, and the corrupt judges, which we are trying to expose. fun playing um, with music this week too. Now I didn't warm up my voice yet. In case I need to retune when I put the cable on, sometimes it changes it. All right, let me turn this off. Put this here. Let's see what I'll do first. Um, I'm only going to do, I'm not going to do somebody else's original. Um, I'll start with The Fix. This is The Fix, written with Aaron White, and um, we wrote this when we returned from Washington, D.C. He wrote a poem, and I took it, and I tweaked it, and put it to music. All these songs can be found on um, Music and Arts for Parental Rights and Foster Care and Alienated Children. The cause of destroying kids in every way doesn't matter what we say, you support them by working night and day. All that matters is how much we pay. Try to argue or validate, they take your kids away. Now, does it matter if you're straight or gay? Male or female, you gotta pay false accusations of abuse against you. 
turns proceedings into a zoo. It doesn't matter how innocent you are, if the judge doesn't like you, you won't go far. An outstanding citizen, your record was clean. All I want from you is your green attorneys and judges and CPS, DSF, DCF. Entrap your wallet, want you to acquiesce. The fix is in using Title IV. Trust in God, oh, there's a door. More and more chaos is their aim. They make their own rules to play the game. You wait months upon months for court appointments to make your case at your child's expense. You hear tonight over and over again. You feel alone. How could you win? You get frustrated with all the time that you waste. To them you're nothing, another case. So you join groups and go to Washington, D.C. To fight this title for travesty. Our kids have once in this dealership. Raising awareness is just the tip. This is I Need You, and I Need You is a prayer for single parents. It was the first song with lyrics that I wrote, um, and I wrote it on piano before I got my guitar. So I wrote it in December of the 16th. I played guitar for many years. I only got this guitar less than a year ago. I bought it for myself for Valentine's Day last year. Not this one, my other one. Um, this was a gift from my son this Christmas. And um, I couldn't play for like six years. Um, well, I couldn't play six years ago, and uh, I couldn't bend my fingers at all. They told me I had rheumatoid arthritis. I was getting injections. I was wearing splints on my hands. Um, I couldn't move my hands. They were in so much pain. And it turns out I had Lyme's disease. It's untreated, and it was undiagnosed. So... Um, my hands had gotten better and since then I had given my guitars away thinking I could never play again and sure enough I can play. The other thing that happened uh, a year after I stopped playing guitar I stopped singing because I was coughing and I was having um, difficulty swallowing and I couldn't sing through a refrain of happy birthday without coughing and um, if you don't know my story um, I'll link it to this video later on but uh, on YouTube, I have my story and on my blog. And basically, I um, caught the doctors. I got CP CPS got involved with my case because I was whistleblowing on doctors who were calling me a hypochondriac and delusional. And um, I had caught them doing things. And so they sedated me to, and they put me under, they, to do a procedure that didn't require putting me under. It was only to sedate me, to put a probe down my throat to look at my heart with an ultrasound. So I wasn't supposed to be knocked out, but they knocked me out and they secretly did surgery biopsies and they slipped me an abortion pill, which is assaulted murder. None of this is on medical records. None of this was had consent and they shouldn't have done anything if I was pregnant, which they didn't tell me that I was, but I was figuring it out. And then I had the miscarriage. But then I had recorded the entire procedure, what they were saying and what they did. The corrupt uh, Department of Health and uh, court and the police would not do anything about it. So I put the whole recording on YouTube. And this recording of what they did to me and what they were saying, I had had threat calls for as well. So um, I knew as soon as um, I figured out what was going on and I heard the recording of what I made, I put it on YouTube because um, I need witnesses, I need the world to hear what's happening. And I know that it's not, I'm not the only one that this happens to. I'm sure that I was only the smartest one to catch it, 
but not the only one that it happens to. Um, so anyway, um, I wrote this song. Uh, I got my ability to play back. My voice started coming back and what my voice changed because when they did that procedure and they knocked me out, they took out pallops. They took out pallops and they did biopsies and surgery. So uh, I had two swallow studies prior to that. Um, this barium swallow studies and they said I had external compression so they didn't acknowledge that I had polyps but there was something blocking but I was coughing and I couldn't swallow so that was the story I had caught them before that photoshopping on radiology images which I have pictures to prove and I have other things that prove it um, that are on the desk when you put it up on the startup menu there's a whole file of commands and things they did to change my images and I don't think I was supposed to get that disc, but I have it. So anyway, um, P.S. Just want everybody to know that these things happen now that everything's digital. So here goes my prayer for single prayer. It's called, I Need You.
Where is it? Hmm. Oh, I think I'll do. I think I'll do hands. This is not a cover. I mean, this is a cover. This is Jewel. But I, I love this song because one word changes the whole meaning of the song. How come this isn't turning? Hmm. Tell the world just one thing it would be the world okay. And not to worry, cause worry is wasteful and useless in times like these. I won't be made useless, I won't be idled with despair. I gather myself around my faith to light the darkness most be.
thoughts on Julie. Okay, um, it's another song. I just, this is the, uh, one of the most recent songs I wrote. I wrote this in October.
need your wings. to that one. That one's um, very close to my heart. Don't look at me that way, and it's about everybody who doesn't realize it can happen to them too. And they look at you cross eyed and they say, Well, you must have done something wrong because the court got involved, or because DACF or CPS got involved, which is total bullshit, and we know that it can happen to anyone. And it's based on, um, it's just, it's just so unbelievable how this whole thing, uh, how it can happen to people. So this song describes what happens and, uh, it's called, don't look at me this way. Don't look at me that way.
Um, yep, that's what happens. And the next song I'm going to sing, we did it at the march, is called Scream for Justice. And um, I first wrote this song thinking of ice cream and you got no money, kids, so you don't get a Sunday, but you can have a Sunday. You get the, the ice pop, whatever. And I was thinking, um, ice cream, ice cream, we all scream for ice cream. And, and I was thinking, ice cream is sweet, like justice. And I'm like, ah, and that's how it came together with the refrain. So how it's supposed to go is ice cream, you say ice cream, echo, you scream, echo, you scream, echo, we all scream, echo, we all scream. And then together we sing for justice and liberty. Um, <clears throat> so you're not going to sing it by yourself, but this is how it goes. And when I do this with the bands, the guitar, electric guitar, is wailing on this and the drums are banging. It's supposed to be very, very um, powerful. So um, on, I don't know if on Music and Arts for Parental uh, Rights has that version with the guitar, electric guitar in the background. I think it does. Uh, Joyce the Voice it might, but uh, I have, I know I did because I open mic and I, some, I had a couple of uh, house bands that did the song with me and they've never heard it before so each time it's done it's done differently so um anyway so here goes <laughs> They had 
time and strength, they had a home, not a foster care dealership. But the crooked judge ignored their plight, so CPS would win the fight. on Mother's Day and it's not really for written for uh, it's written for a romantic love but oh, oh. tiny couple of tweaks and I have it um, for my boys
It's just like a dream to me that somehow came true. And I know tomorrow will still be the same. PTSD that I wrote, and it has double meaning to it. Um, it. Sounds like a child's song, but it's really because it hits the heart. It hits your heart, and it's so simple um, to understand when you hear it in this way. Let me tune my guitar again because I put the, messed it up. Oh, not bad. This guitar holds a tune. I love my guitar that my older son gave it to me. He's like, Ma, Ma, we gotta upgrade you here. I bought a used guitar last year for myself and I way overpaid it. in my closet and again 
It's about PTSD. Yeah. right after Washington DC I had such a good feeling like I have after meeting everybody again this rally um, it's like coming together with family people you never knew who have the same heart and pain and you know them without knowing their story um, you know their heart and um, why they have the same fight and struggle that you do and uh, we all come from different places and we all came together to fight this big monster and um, so I wrote the song Serendipity.
always been off on that one. That's okay. This is dedicated to all my friends from the Parental Rights and Family Forward Movement. Um, and I think I'm going to turn this off and then turn on another go live again and do my other songs that are fun songs not related to the movement, my originals. Um, so I'm going to turn this off now and go back on again. <laughs>